Hey guys, here we are at the beginning of another good adventure. We're just going down through Taupo and heading to Fakaipo Bay. Gonna stay here the night and then head down further in the morning. Really good spot down here. Um, you're allowed to bring your dogs as well. It is a dock campsite, it's free. So just make sure your dogs are under control, obviously. But um, summertime is a hell of a dusty track, this. They've just graded it recently, which is good. Taking all the bumps out. Um, apart from that, there is a few four wheel drive tracks around this place, but by rights, you're not supposed to be using them. Um, they block them off every now and then. But basically, yeah, don't, don't abuse the place because the dock's already on to it. The fact that we're um, four wheel drivers are turning up, wrecking the place, um, you know, basically turning the bigger paddocks into donut, donut skid pads, which is not much fun. So, yeah, disrespect the place and hope we will keep using it. This is basically just before you get to Taupo, you head towards Acacia Bay. So, I go there about 20 minutes out of town maybe a bit less so ideal place great place to stop overnight if you're going to do the 40 second traverse in the morning something like that um, you can get camper vans things down here as well but for me it's the trailer and the rooftop tent tonight so it should be a nice nice fresh night I'd imagine a bit of a crisp morning much in the way of facilities at this one we have got uh, long drop toilets I think there's two or three dotted around that's it but no water um, got to filter your own water of course and bring your own drinking water apart from that she's a pretty ideal little place very cool great spot actually come down here quite a bit just using um, bringing the caravan down and the, the five dogs so it's a great place if you got enough dogs you want to bring them down uh, we've just got Dusty with us today, just the one. Okay, we found home for the night. Nice and easy. Not too much mud around here. There's a lot of pumice and things under the ground, so this really dry. Uh, looks like we've actually got the trailer quite level, so I think I'm happy with that. So what's wrong with this picture, Dust? Yes, I'm on the dog's bed, and you're on my bed, with your head on my pillow. Something's got to change. Yeah. Oh, it's morning time. Oh, not a bad night. Have a look outside, I think. Good day. Well, another day. About 7.30. Been lying in the tent. Too, too lazy to get up, but now I'm up. I'm pleased. It's going to be a beautiful day. Skies are blue. Yep, going to be absolutely amazing. Bit of a frost, so nothing major at all, really. We're all um, dusty, though. I'm not going to be drinking that water in a hurry. A <laughs> big ice block. Hey Dust, how was that night Dust?
nice and warm. It's a good night. Okay, time for some coffee. This is what we wake up to, get straight through to the lake. Little tracks everywhere down here. You're literally at the lake. There we go. Come down here in summer, it's absolutely beautiful. Swimming every day, crystal clear water. Can't get enough of it. I'll zoom in in a minute because on the side of the lake, there. Pretty much where we're going to be heading is out that way. Yeah, have a look around. There's a beautiful spot. starting to get the sun creeping up over the hill once that comes up get a bit of the frost off the tent in the meantime we'll just make some breakfast and chill for a bit might as well not too many people here that's what we want isn't it love it oh, another camper van down the end must come in the night not too sure pretty much out to it and so super warm okay breakfast time all right we're packed up gonna uh, take you guys a quick ticky tour around this place see what you guys think oops not meant to be four-wheeling Absolutely masses of places to camp around here. You're supposed to camp on the inward side of the road towards the farm. There's a whole farm up there and there is mountain bike trails that go through the hills um, and of course you can walk those tracks as well. Um, it takes you all the way over to Kinlock if you want to walk that far. Um, a couple of hours I, I imagine. I've never done the whole thing but I have walked up through the, the tracks with the dogs and everything. So where I am now you're not allowed to camp. This is for all the the day people, people who turn up during the day just want to drop their kayaks in and things. But about every sort of, I don't know, 100, 150 metres, there's a walkway through to the, the the shore of the lake there. Absolutely just, yeah, stunning place. Plenty to do, bring your, all your toys, all your things. You know, a lot of the boats uh, launch over in Taupo and head over this way as well. Park their boats up, uh, jet skis and all the rest. So yeah, it's a, it's a shared recreation area, I guess. You just got to be mindful of that um, and being a dock camp we don't want to upset anyone because they'll just close the door to you know four-wheel drivers or the likes of us with um, rooftop tents you're supposed to be self-contained here there is toilets so that's a bit of a interesting one um, you can carry your own little porta potty if you want this is the start of the, uh, the walking tracks up through there and the rides yeah it's fully set up so uh, there's honestly there are so many places to camp there you know they, to be honest you can get several hundred vehicles and campers in there summertime you do get the tents you get everything and I don't think Doc managed to do too much about it to be honest this is the end of the road there's actually a chute there for launching kayaks and things down so you're literally straight in the, the water and of course there's no tide because it's a lake it's always as high as the water level is and at the moment you've got a couple meters of beach and that's it so yeah we'll head on out of here and um i'm gonna head towards that snowy mountain down there down the desert road see where that leads us today i'm gonna drop in at the dock office just have a chat about a few bits and pieces and places we're allowed to go and look at getting a permit for taking the dog into a couple of the places which should not be a problem but I'll let you know once we're there.
So that's it, leaving the bay. Looks like they're going to do a bit more maintenance on this road. And that's not a bad thing. Honestly, summertime it gets so freaking dusty. Unbelievable. You got a, also a good tip: just watch where you park down below. Try and stay back from the road a wee bit because the dust just literally covers you if you're, if you're too close to the, the road at all. So yep, there you go, guys. For Kaipo Bay, respect it and enjoy it, just so we don't lose it. That's all. Best thing, as I say, we're allowed dogs, and that's pretty good for a dock camp, especially on somewhere like Lake Taupo. So make the most of it. Alrighty, head back to Taupo. So this is where the new gate is at Waipakihi, but the gate is open. Okay, so we're down at Waipakihi Road, and this is the position of the new gate, but the gate is open. And also, the gate has been bolted open, which makes it interesting. So hopefully this just means we're looking at seasonal closures. At the moment, we're free to go in. No signs, no nothing. So let's head on down to the river. Just get out, check this out. Looks like a bit of a drop off down here. Okay, hey, down by the river, that's where we usually cross. Moving quite fast at the moment too. This time around we're going to head a different direction rather than go up the river. So we'll head on up the track further. I want to get it into some nice mountain views to wake up to in the morning. I think that'll be well worth it. There's a little river crossing. A couple of ways back out. The track's been a bit washed out but nothing major. I think you guys won't be able to handle it.
Okay, we're going to head back up, guys. Um, just got down here to find that the spare wheel has completely come off the trailer. So it must have come off on one of those drop-offs somewhere, or bumps on the road. So we're going to head back up, find that spare wheel, and work our way back down again. Maybe not. Okay, how about low range? And we will go for... Try second low. Give it a go. gonna get up. Okay, bit of diff lock and we're out. Okay, let's go find that tire. I wasn't expecting to go back up here so early. <laughs> Hoping it would be tomorrow. Anyway, let's go find this wheel. I'm not quite sure where this wheel's gone. There we go guys, sitting in the middle of the track. One spare wheel and one trash can. That baby has bounced itself loose. I say it's time for some more maintenance, eh? At least we found it and it's not on the main road. That was my biggest worry. Alrighty, let's get it. So, okay, it's on the trailer, but the pin, I think it's the actual pin has dropped out of the larger pin, um, which has caused the thing to bounce open perhaps, because the hinge is actually broken. And that's a decent truck hinge that was on that, so anyway. We've got it, nobody died. Let's carry on. Okay, creek crossing take two. We're back to where we are, or where we were, should I say, where we're supposed to be. Let's um, head down and get back over. Now we did let some air out the tyres, just to make things a lot easier, a lot softer too. It's such a bumpy road just coming in. Oh, she's a bit sideways onto the bank. Okay, straight through and out the other end. Past the Waikiki River crossing, and away we go. Okay, at least we didn't lose too much time anyway. All good fun, just another experience. To check everything on the trailer and grease the axles and everything before we left, but hey, you just, you just don't know what's going to happen. So anyway, I'm going to head down this way, down the side of the river, check the track out again. I'm actually going to be heading the other way, but we might as well have a look at this while we're here. Why not? You would have seen this track in one of our previous videos with the Jeep, I guess. Um, oh, a bit of tree trimming being done, but ice in the track. Um, some really good campsites down here. Often taken, of course, summertime, it's a pretty busy place. It's good. The track's actually still in quite good condition considering the wet. Um, 
bike track, so if anyone's coming the other way, uh, you're a bit buggered, especially when you've got the trailer on. They're going to have to try and pull over for you. The trailer we've got on the back here is basically the same width as a truck, so it should follow on pretty good. I built that trailer probably 25, 30 years ago now. Um, bit of a off-road trailer as well as a an everything else trailer you know carrying timber rocks stones wood whatever you want um, the original trailer was actually a Land Rover military trailer but what I did was in the end because we cut we had one of them they're like a, they're like a bathtub so we did that and then we um, cut a tailgate into the back and after a while, we decided we wanted to make another try, so we did. But one thing we did keep was the axle. So we kept the axle for the um, Land Rover trailer, which at the time suited the trucks we had, which was also Land Rovers, Range Rovers and things. And away we went. Built the trailer, which has been modified countless times over the years. But yeah, the latest carnation is having the rooftop tent on it instead of the big fold-out camper tent, which we sold recently. Anyway, let's look at this track. It's looking a bit muddy up here. Tell you what, it is a really nice spot down here. No one here today, Friday is the day. There is nobody down here at all. You got your pick of the bunch, there's a few stone fire pits being made up already. This is the end of the track down here. Yeah, another fire pit, etc. And you're right by the river. Absolutely beautiful. Get out and have a quick look, eh? Show you guys around. Shines out. He says it's about two degrees in the car at the moment. It feels good to me in the sun. I'm gonna complain about that. See what I mean? This place is just fantastic. Fire pit down here. Somebody's had nice and close to the river. Certainly couldn't ask for better weather than this. It's unbelievable. Certainly picked the right weather. Snow would have been a bit fun down here, but it takes a lot to get snow at this level. There's one of the fire pits around here. Very shaded over here. Good thing so far with these fires. Don't seem to be too much trash left in them, which makes a change. Right, not even any food scraps are dusty. That's pretty good. You can head on up there around the hill if you want. Back down to the next little segment. The place is fantastic, guys. You've got to get yourself down here. Because if that gate ends up getting locked for any stupid reason, that those in power think it needs to be closed, then, yeah, get down here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have some breakfast. It's actually lunchtime. We didn't do breakfast before, so I think we'll um, make something for lunch here and then head on out. Might as well, the sun's out. Loving it. There we have it. Bacon, cheese, a bit of salad, a bit of hot sauce to top it off. And we'll um, go sit by the river. Cheers, guys. Not a bad lunch spot, eh? It's good when what you make for lunch is damn good as well. Of course, I'm hungry because I haven't had any breakfast, but that's fine. It's about one o'clock. Where are you, Dust? Oh, uh, yeah, hanging around to eat my food. Where else would you be? Good girl.
Okay, that's lunch over, guys. Stay down the river, about an hour and a half. Had a nice walk around. Not point in rushing these things, is there? Might as well take our time. So we're going to head back out this little track and up onto the plateau and get some views of the mountains. road where the head left to the river but we're going to head up onto the plateau and check out some mountain views pretty easy track through here it's basically a bit of a gravel track nothing serious and there's the beginnings of those mountain views guys all the snow up there It's hard to beat views, isn't it, really? Very nice. All right, guys, and a bit of a drop off here. Nah, nothing major as usual. Take your time, I reckon. Slow approach. At least you can have a harder go later if you decide you can't get up or down, whatever your obstacle is. Originally, I'd planned to bring the Jeep on this one. Um, it's been a while has been out in the Jeep. Um, replaced the battery, did a bit of rewiring, made things all good, you know, took a bit of time to get her into shape and then a couple of days before I had to start it and move it and the starter motor's playing up. So checked everything I could, you know, plenty of power in the batteries, all the rest. No, nah, starter motor's playing up and coming down somewhere like this I'm just not going to risk it. So we're in the Ranger this weekend. Um, disappointment of all you jeep guys out there but we'll have to get it sorted and then the next trip's gonna have to definitely be the jeep so yep yeah, i'll just carry on through here this is um don't look pretty stunning now everywhere we are we'll stop get out and take some footage of all the mountains in a minute I'm trying to head to a little place i know that has a fantastic little view of the mountains which we might be able to set up and stay for the night Middle of nowhere. <laughs> there we are. There's some mountains and all their glory. Stunning day, hey! Look at the sky. Ain't much better than that. This is actually a dead end track. This one, Been down here, the odd time looking around. But there is a little track to the left that takes me back up to the plateau. 
which is a rather nice little spot to camp for the night. And we'll have a look, see how windy it is, because there is a little bit on the track back there, which is also nice, um, with the same views. But just see how windy it is, it's windy. too windy and it's, yeah, won't be so much fun sleeping. So far, so good. So yeah, here's the track. Let's see if we can crawl our way up here. Put her into four low and crawl up, pull in the trailer. Good, the pumice is not too bad. You just feel a tiny bit of wheel spin there. Not much. Don't need diff lock. And here we are at the top. Just got to decide which way we want the tent to face. In fact, I'd say we're just up here would be perfect. And you'll see why when I park the truck and we set ourselves up with the tent. Let's go find a Get it level, I guess. Okay, get out and have a look. So, I'm just gonna reverse back a bit. I reckon we'll get the tent pointing out of the wind, so we should end up being pretty damn good. Yep, right about there should do us. Okay, we're gonna have a go at getting this tent up. Um, we're gonna shelter behind the trees here, which is good, but let's put it up to see. to fall over. All right, let's carry on, try again. Okay, take two. Always something to test us, isn't there? Done. I'll tell you what, the sun's shining too. Okay, what now? Okay, let me show you around. And we've got the primo spot. We're out in the sun. We have the bed, everything's made, we're all good. Hello, I've got enough room in here. That's a good idea, guys. Happy camp light, but this one's got a remote. So I don't have to reach up and find the light in the middle of the night. Just grab the remote, done. Dim it, turn it on, turn it off, all different settings. And if I can get myself up in here, without dropping you guys down the side, here we go. That is what we're gonna wake up to in the morning. Can't go wrong with that. Got a breath of wind up here. Always pays to just set, set your camp up right. Just take the time, drive around the block, turn around again, look for the best spot, see what's what, then set up. And after that, if the weather gets turns on you or whatever, then that's just what happens. But yep, happy with that. Time to chill out for a while. Here's our view for the night. Out of the wind, quite happy. Including dust. More than happy sitting in the sun. Time for a sleep.
Okay, here we go. It's getting damn cold out here. So time to get some dinner on. Um, we are going to do a bit of a casserole tonight. A little bit of steak. A bit of a casserole. Add some veggies, bits and pieces. And try this one here. Hardy casserole meal sauce by Barker's. Looks pretty good actually. Apparently it's gluten free, but that doesn't worry me. So that will be going on soon as well. A few diced onions to add. A bit of a cheek this time. Managed to get diced onions already done. Which is pretty good. Just to help add a bit of flavour to it. There's some room for the other veggies. And we've got diced pumpkin as well. So might as well add that in too. I've got plenty of time to cut things, but this is actually pretty damn easy doing it this way. As soon as the sun went down behind the mountains, the temperature instantly dropped. Damn quickly. Give that a bit of a blast. Time to cut up a few other veggies. Got some mushrooms to go in as well. Hearty casserole sauce. Looks pretty good. Oh, great smell. See what this ends up like. Decent mix through and add the mushrooms. later as well but I'll just leave that because I think they're too soggy. I'll leave these for a while. Okay. Put the lid on and walk away for a while. Get myself a drink and we'll um just watch this cook for a while. Better put the pumpkin in too I suppose. Give it five minutes. Okay, see what's going on. Stir this up a bit. It's bubbly. It'll take a while, but hey, we've caught all night. Don't worry about that. I know that Dusty's sitting there rather keen on the smell of this. Leave it alone. Get the lid back on, keep the heat up. Could be happy with that, eh? Okay. Time for a drink. Energy drink for me tonight. Probably keeping up all night, but hey. Give it a bit of a boost. Tell you what, it is a beautiful night, but it's um Temperatures drop. My hands are feeling pretty damn cold, actually. Just have to um, tough it out, I guess. Sun's gone down over the mountains, and clouds are moving in. I have a feeling we'll wake up with a decent frost in the morning. We'll be right. Looking forward to it.
one thing though, I've got the fridge here. I haven't actually turned the fridge on the whole time. Everything's just so cold down here, you don't need it. So rather than overfreeze everything, um, I just left the fridge off. It's just using like a bit of a chilly one at the moment. So yeah, everything's good. It's usually I've bought far too much food. I always go to the supermarket on the way down and bring food to that every occasion. And end up either eating too much or taking it home. So Dusty's had a couple bits of steak there, so she's happy. We um, did get a permit from Doc today um, for taking Dusty into the Kaimanawas. So that's a good thing as well. Make sure that we're all legal with her. So yeah, we can camp in the Kaimanawas and walk there, whatever we want to do. Um, permit actually lasts until about December, I think. So something worth thinking about in case the Doc guy comes visiting. So it doesn't mean we can go into national parks, that's all. So we can't actually go onto the national parks of Tongariro, etc. Okay, time to check on stuff. Oh my god. Yeah, all in the way. Did its thing. You notice here too, guys. Bit of wuss, I got a heater. These are these uh, Mr. Buddy heaters. Really good. You can use them up in your tent as well. If they tip over, instantly go out. Um, I've tested it too to make sure. Uh, you certainly don't go to sleep with them on, but you need to take the chill off. Damn good idea. I'll tell you, at the moment I'm just warming my hands. I've been my gloves on, but I can't do anything with the gloves on. So, just carry on and freeze. It's actually, um, we're down to minus one now. And we must be, oh, I don't know, about six o'clock, just after. Something like that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. The moon is starting to rise. So we'll give it a moonlight anyway. That's going to be cool. Okay, get myself prepared for the night anyway while this cooks. There it is. Mr. Heater, the little buddy. Really good. Nice glow, guys. Well, I can feel it in my hands just from here. You need to take the chill off. There's no point in getting cold and ruining your night, is there? Keep warm, guys. I've got one hell of a good jacket on. Some decent pants with a bit of, bit of soft warmth to the inside of them. Gloves if I need them. Beanie. And yeah, just keep yourself warm. Don't get a chill. It will ruin your night. Okay, the time has come. Out. Yep. Steaming away, and that is ready. I was going to put rice in this as well, but I've just got no room, and to be honest, there's plenty here, so I don't think I really have to worry about that. Load the plate up. These, um, one pot wonders are always a great way to go when you're out on your own. Tell you what, this is going to warm me up. All right. Minus one degrees before, it was about, I don't know, three quarters of an hour ago, so we're probably um, heading towards a bit colder. All right, that's plenty. Yeah, I think I dropped that lid, didn't I? I'll take that. Back on, turn the stove off. Try this out, eh? Go for the meat first. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That meat's perfect. Guys, it's going to warm me up on the inside. Exactly what I need. Everything's cooked perfectly. Alright, I am going to sit down in my chair by my little buddy heater and eat my dinner. See you guys soon.